Ladies and gentlemen, today we are making pasta al pomodoro. And look at this, fresh cherry tomatoes and basil pasta. Oh, to die for, done in 10 minutes. Come on, let's make it together. Mm. Mm. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where you get to learn how to cook fantastic Italian recipes. I'm gonna show you how to make this pasta, but you need to forgive me. I forgot to bring the pecorino cheese here in the studio. I have no pecorino. I feel lonely and I hope the pecorino is missing me back home. <gasps> Yay! Come on! How do we make pasta al pomodoro? We need 300 grams of spaghetti. I've used spaghettone quadrato, a nice, beautiful, square, thick spaghetti. You do need something that absorbs the sauce. We need 400 grams of beautiful, fresh cherry tomatoes. If you can't get cherry tomatoes for any reason, or you don't want to use them, you can use Peeled tomatoes. You can buy a can of peeled San Marzano tomato, crush it with your hands and use that instead of cherry tomatoes. Basil, fresh basil. If it's from your garden, it's best. Two cloves of garlic, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, and sea salt for the pasta water. First thing to do, guys, please get those cherry tomatoes and let's cut them in half, okay? Cherry tomatoes, we wanna get the juice out of the tomatoes, which is gonna turn into sauce for our pasta, okay? So you do need to cut the tomatoes enough. Just like that. Just cut enough. Oh, look how beautiful and juicy they are. Look at this baby over here, look at that. Full of juice, mmm. See, I never buy fruit and veg for the supermarket. I always buy fruit and veg fresh from the market, if I can or from the grocery store that I trust. Okay, how do we start? Of course, we start with the extra virgin olive oil. Put about, let's say, four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Beautiful, beautiful extra virgin. You got two options here. You can do this to your garlic and just put it in there so you release all the flavors in the oil. Or you can do what I do. I basically like to crush my garlic because I like the flavors of crushed garlic in my sauce. Basically one garlic per person. Like if I make pasta agli olio. Now the crushed garlic should not cook for more than 30 seconds because we don't want to burn the garlic, okay? We just want the garlic to give the flavors to the tomatoes. So straight away, let's add the tomatoes inside. Oh yes. Oh yes, look how juicy these cherry tomatoes are. Look how wonderful. Let's put a nice generous amount of salt and pepper. And here we go. Yum. Now we do want to wait for the juice to come out, okay? So cook it on a medium low heat, okay? And take your time and stir every now and then. And then once they're cooked, I'll show you what I do to make it Super, super saucy. Now, see, when you get to this point that the beautiful juice is coming out, see? See the juice there? It's coming out, okay? So it's not a bit dry at the bottom, I guess. It's more saucy. What we do is we put the basil, okay? So what I do, I put the whole thing here. We break the stalk so the flavors come out and just put it in there, okay? We're just adding the basil now for the extra flavors. It's all about the flavors, okay? Guys, once you put the basil in there, oh, the perfumes come out. And let me tell you, Chanel number no. five has nothing on this. Nothing. This is so much better. Guys, after a few minutes, you will see that the tomatoes are getting softer. And what you can do to help so the juice come out, you press on them. So help them so they don't suffer too much, okay? You press 
and all the Jews come out. Look, if you can get them. Here, yeah. see? Here we go. Boom, boom. Oh, yum. The tomato skin plays an important role because it's going to help you to make this pasta a little bit creamier. So make sure you're kind to the skin. The smell, the flavors. In 10 minutes, we're gonna have a beautiful, fantastic sauce. It's only been five minutes, and look how juicy this is. Look how fantastic. And the more I slow cook this, the more juice we get out, which is fantastic. Look at that. The flavors, you got the garlic infused in there. The basil gave the extra flavor. Don't forget, guys, basil and tomatoes, they always go well together. They love each other so much. Okay, after 10 minutes, what we do is we remove the basil, and this is what we're gonna do. This is credit goes to Suzanne, my wife Suzanne. Great idea. Okay, so guys, what we're gonna do now, very easy. We're going to blend this wonderful juice here and these tomatoes. But when I say blend, it don't wanna be too rough. We wanna be very gentle and quickly blend, okay? The best thing to do actually would be to crush with your hands. It's a bit too hot to do it. Uh, or, you know, you can just use a crushed tomato crusher. So basically, guys, what we want to do here, we want to do this very gently, very quickly, not for too long. One, two, three. That's it, we're done. This is ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. I want to show you what you get, okay, when you do this. Creamier, more sauce, and look, you've still got enough cherry tomatoes, you know, to decorate your pasta, but look at that. Look at this beautiful sauce. How can you go wrong with this, okay? You can't not go wrong with this. So it's time to cook the spaghetti. To cook the spaghettoni quadrati pasta, what we need is a large pot with water, one nice tablespoon of sea salt, okay? Put it there. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to twist and put the pasta in there. And when you do this, make sure you put it down. So the water is boiling and this is helping to make the pasta softer. The water is so hot, you know? So you do that for the first 30 seconds, move them around. Okay, so now this pasta takes 13 minutes to cook. Always read the instruction on the packet. And I'm gonna cook it for 13 minutes in boiling water. In the meantime, while the pasta cooks, let's finish our sauce, okay? So what we do is we put the sauce back on the pot here on a medium low heat. Actually, at this point, I would say go very, very low. But we don't want to stress the sauce. Look at that. And what we do is we're going to break the basil in there. Break it, tear the basil with your hands. Why? Because the flavors will go all in the sauce. If you cut the basil on the chopping board, what's going to happen is you are releasing all the flavors on the chopping board. And make sure you put it on low heat. Low heat, please, okay? Low heat. We don't want to stress our beautiful cherry tomatoes. Mmm, look how nice it looks. Let's put more basil in there. And let's keep some basil for decoration, okay? Just keep some to decorate this magical dish. Ah, oh. and the flavors are there. This is ready to be served. Look how creamy. Come on, have a look, look. Look how beautiful it is. Can you believe I made this sauce in 10 minutes? Hmm? How beautiful. Uh, just the two of us. You give me the sauce, I give you the love. Just the two of us. I'm going to eat you. Okay, guys, before we get the pasta out, let's get a mug of pasta water, which we might need it, okay, when we mix the pasta with the sauce. All right, let's get this beautiful spaghetti. Yum. Go straight in the sauce. Doesn't matter if you get some pasta water, eh? Actually, it's, it's better. Just get it. That's why I like to get the pasta with my tongs. I don't try not to use the colander. What we want to do now, guys, and this is very important, is we want to mix our ingredients with the pasta. It's such an important thing. Don't put the pasta in the plate 
with nothing on it, and then you just put the sauce on top. The pasta needs to make love with the sauce, okay? It's so, so important. And that's what we're doing right now. All right, what we do now is we're gonna put a little bit of pasta water in there, just a little bit. Toss, 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 toss. Beautiful. We're almost ready to serve. Just before we serve, I like to put some raw extra virgin olive oil to give more flavor. Last but not least, we need to add more basil on top, please. More basil. Now, if you wanna add pecorino, parmigiano, this is the time for you to do it. Right now, you do it, you toss it. Let's put a little bit more extra virgin olive oil. Toss it and serve. And this is how you make pasta al pomodoro. Oh yes, this is it. Pasta al pomodoro with basilico, fresh basil and fresh cherry tomatoes. It's important guys for us now to plate this wonderful plate of spaghetti. Ah, look how important it is to combine all the ingredients together, huh? You can't miss the most important step in any pasta recipe. You do have to combine all the ingredients. It is a must. If you don't do it, just remember that I'm watching you. I'm in your kitchen, always watching you. Let's put some sauce on top and sprinkle basil everywhere. And you can add pecorino and parmigiano if you love it. Now the final touch, let's sprinkle some nice basil all over. And we can also put a little bit of basil here. And here is how you make pasta al pomodoro. Yes, beautiful, silky, creamy. Oh, that's a big portion, but I think I can do it. I have a big mouth. Mm. 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 Silky, moist, full of flavors. The basil, so important, the basil, so important. And I do like the skin of the tomatoes. You know, it's very nice in there, see? They, Oh, come on, guys. Come into my belly. Come on. Come on. Mm. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful sauce. I can't believe it. It takes 10 minutes to do this. 10 minutes. Anyone can do it. No excuses. You go and make it right now. This is so delicious. So delicious. Mmm. 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 Just the two of us, eating pasta, making love. Just the two of us, you and I. <laughs> That's how I feel. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. <laughs> e ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. <laughs>